Hey, great day inspires another Paralympic day awakes us all. My name is John Register, two-time, two-sport Paralympic athlete and silver medalist from the Games in Sydney, Australia. And I have a special report just for you. Now, during the Paralympic friends and family event over the Atlas Hotel in Colorado Springs, Colorado, Olympic City, USA, uh, I had a conversation with Deidre DeLilly and Nicole Peterson, who are both with the great company, Toyota. Nicole is the brainchild of the vision Toyota has for people with disabilities. So let's head over to my conversation I had last night at the Antlers with these two incredible visionary women. Hey, JR, take it away. All right, everybody, welcome back, Inspirers. Uh, we have just these rock stars with us today. Uh, Deidre, uh, you are with, with Toyota, both of you with Toyota. And, yes. um, you know, one of the things that we've been seeing a lot of lately with, with what's going on over in uh, Tokyo is that Toyota's just like all over the place. <laughs> and you're like the spearhead of this whole push forward. What was the vision behind this effort? So at Toyota, we have a vision to create a more inclusive society where everyone has freedom of movement. So we are committed to creating a world where there are no more barriers and everyone has the ability to live their fullest lives. So the Paralympics are certainly a seamless connection for us in terms of the, the way in which we are looking to move forward in terms of creating a, a world where mobility is just you know no longer a challenge for us. I think Paralympic athletes epitomize what we stand for at Toyota and if you saw any of our TV spots, absolutely, uh, yeah. right, our Start Your Impossible campaign, it, that campaign is all about inspiring people to be able to, to kind of take their first step to live a life where there are no more barriers. So do you see, you know, a lot, a lot of things that happen like with the American Association for People with Disabilities and we, we see uh, the technology advances, yeah. but we don't really see uh, a lot of um, jobs that is, you know, because the job market has not shifted or moved over 31 years with the ADA. How do you see, you know, Toyota's vision to kind of capture all of that together? Yeah, I mean, that, that's a great question. I'll say one thing that we are working on is just, you know, I think it's, it's a bigger picture, right? right. I mean, there's, there's Paralympics, and we're certainly committed to that, but I think the, the vision and the broader scale is all about creating a, a, just an inclusive society. Um, so I think, you know, there's a lot of work to do still, um, but we just hope that we can play a small role in, in helping, you know, I think just in, others embrace the vision that we have and the mission that we're on to just you know make the world more inclusive so we have a we have a a program at Toyota called hiring our heroes where we hire veterans that um, you know are looking for job placement after they get out of, of service and we are looking to transition a lot of our Paralympic athletes into that same situation um, because it's it's really hard I think even in the Olympic space to find career opportunities outside of sport once you're finished competing um, so hiring our heroes we've really sort of trying to integrate that into our Paralympic athletes because a lot of our Paralympic athletes are veterans, right? Sure. So um, that that program in and of itself will, will help to create jobs and we're trying to expand that with, with what we do now with Toyota. You yeah. know, one of the things I find that really interesting and, that, and that's what I was looking for, like that, that bigger vision. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, I was, I was speaking with a, a group uh, and with the military, you know, so having yeah. started the, the Paralympic military sport program, now we have 21 people on the, on the team for that. Uh, when I look at the athletes now and, and, and over what's going to come back from Tokyo, I see 100 athletes and only yeah. 30 will get jobs because right. of those, those numbers, right? And so right. what you're talking about is really putting, job placement. putting yeah. Yeah, absolutely putting a job placement right there. Um, so the fantastic job of what you're doing in the vision and looking forward to yeah. that. Uh, some of the great athletes you have, like you, you talked about the spot, we see Jessica right here on the yes. cardboard, kind of, hey Jessica! <laughs> right, so, um, what a fantastic commercial that would that was placed out yeah. there. Uh, it's just, I'm glued to it every single time. You know, when you see more opportunities for these, these athletes, what happens in Beijing? What happens, you know, kind of beyond this, this uh Yeah, I mean, we hope we're just getting started. Oh, and, I love yeah, that. that. I mean, really. It's just the beginning. It is. I it's just the beginning. <laughs> um, you know, we, we at Toyota, we're really proud that we have made um, a commitment for the first time ever. Any sponsor has made a commitment to sponsor every single athlete yeah. that makes the team for both Tokyo and or Beijing. Um, and so, you know, I think that's our kind of initial commitment to the Paralympic athletes directly and in, in terms of providing um, financial support. But 
we have a vision to do more. So yeah. our hope is that we can work together with the USOPC, with NGBs, with individual athletes to really understand what the needs are of the athletes themselves so that we can figure out how to customize the support that we're providing, hopefully for years to come. So I've been here with Deidre and Nicole. <laughs> oh my gosh, fantastic ladies that are really leading this, this effort and pushing us to just new heights uh, for people with disabilities to be valued uh, with equity and, and inclusion and belonging because that's really the most important word with Unside of All. You're doing a fantastic job. Thanks. Thank Keep you. up the great work. Thank you so much. Absolutely. We appreciate you. Oh yeah, my gosh. We appreciate you too. <laughs> <laughs> so there's more with myself, John Register, with Inspired Communications International saying, go forth, inspire your world. Bye for now. Bye. Hey, thanks, JR, for that great report. Now we'll have more athlete interviews coming up with 2016 Rio wheelchair basketball star Megan Blunk and 2022 snowboard hopeful gold medalist Noah Elliott. Make sure you are watching the broadcast on NBC Universal and the Olympic Channel. For Inspired Communications International, my name is John Register saying go forth and inspire your world. Bye for now.